What's up everybody, Will Borza here of Borza Mastering. It's the analog vlog. It's a vlog, analog. So today we're talking about what makes a great mastering engineer. Now if it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Will, I'm a mastering engineer. I work with major label artists, independent artists, and I'd love to work with you too. These videos are all about mastering theory, mastering technology, and mastering techniques. And as an accompaniment to these videos, I invite you to join the Analog Mob Facebook group. It's where we're discussing these videos in depth. It's also a great place to meet new like-minded people and make friends. So without any further ado, let's get to the video. Okay, three things that make a great mastering engineer. One, great ears. Two, great gear. Three, experience. Let's go one by one, starting with the ears. Now, obviously, you cannot be a great mastering engineer if you can't hear. But more specifically, mastering engineers train their ears to hear big picture stuff. The mixing engineer is gonna be focusing on the dynamic and tonal balance of individual instruments and how they relate to each other inside the song, whereas the mastering engineer is going to be assessing the song as a whole dynamically and tonally. And they're gonna be comparing that song to other songs by the same artist, in the same genre, that kind of thing. Now let's talk about the gear. And there's a big warning label that comes with this. Simply put, better gear creates better results than not good gear. And I also want to point out that gear is not just analog boxes like these behind me. Gear is also algorithms, plugins. There are good plugins, there are bad plugins. And passing your audio through better plugins sounds better than not good plugins. So a mastering engineer's gear is going to be tailor-made for mastering. You do not want to use this room to track your record. We only have two channels, left and right. But here's the warning label that comes with the great gear. Just because you have a piece of great gear does not mean that it should be used on every single record. Just because you have that real vintage Fairchild compressor doesn't mean that it's the right choice for every record that hits your desk. A good mastering engineer from experience is going to know what pieces of gear are going to work for what songs. And that leads very nicely into point number three, experience. Nothing beats experience. Mastering engineers are typically mastering engineers only. They don't record, they don't mix, they only spend their time mastering. Let's take an example here. Let's say you're a band and you're gonna DIY your own album. Let's say you're an active band that releases an album a year, 10 songs on that album. So over the course of a given year, you're going to master 10 songs. You will be exposed to the mastering process 10 times. Just to put this in perspective, last month, I gotta check my numbers, I mastered 15 albums, six EPs, and 16 singles. That's in the ballpark of about 200 songs. So on an average year, I'm mastering north of 2,000 songs compared to the DIY band that mastered 10. Who would you trust more to master your song? Another example, if you needed brain surgery, would you go to a general practitioner or would you go to a specialist who's been doing nothing but brain surgery for his entire career? Obviously you would pick the brain surgery specialist, not the GP, I think. With the same logic, you should choose the mastering engineer, not doing it yourself, or hiring your friend that mastered their own album last year. When all you do is mastering, you get really, really ridiculously good at it. Now, full disclosure, you should not hire me to record your album or mix your album, because I simply have not put the hours in to perfecting those crafts the way other professional recording engineers and professional mixing engineers have niched down into doing that one thing very well. But when it comes to mastering, I'm your guy. So the three characteristics that make a great mastering engineer, great ears, great gear, and lots of experience. So if you need mastering, hit me up, borzamastering.com. If you like this video, we're gonna be discussing it at the Facebook group, The Analog Mob, Come and join us. And also, if you like this video, please give it a like and share it with someone who you think would benefit from watching it. Until next time, peace.